Hello, hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsty and welcome back to another day in Minecraft here where we are not mining. And on last time we left off at our furnace array because I was scratching my head uh, how we can fit in the redstone uh, thingy here. And uh, I think at least the first part I, I have figured out. And uh, in this episode, we will take it step by step, adding one system after the other. And basically, it's nothing new that we need here, uh, but rather things that we already have at other places, like back there at our bone meal farm, uh, maybe also at our sorter. So it's just figuring out which component we need uh, where to achieve what. But looking down here, I think I was a bit too optimistic by placing this farm a bit uh, so low. So we need a bit of uh, that action going on to create a bit of more space underneath. And hopefully I can manage that without destroying everything that's that's already there. So let me just do that uh, and then basically place in the first system, which will probably be one of the easier ones, I think, for requesting more cobblestone. And then we will see how that goes. The explosive part went more or less smoothly. We lost a few observers there, just there, a few ice blocks there, but nothing that was not easily replaceable. Up here we can see the beginning of the system that will uh, spit out the uh, the shulker boxes that uh, uh, need to go somewhere um, and that's probably the next part we are working on and as you can see the two droppers are not facing in the same way uh, that's mainly so that uh, we have a bit more space here around um, if we go up here um, we have in this chest, that's the one with the stone, uh, that's the one with the smooth stone. So the first thing that we placed in here is uh, this uh, comparator, uh, which will output a signal of strength three if we have a shulker box in there. Will be detected that change will be detected by that observer. And then we basically go uh, through here along this line, a few repeaters along the way to keep the, the, the signal strengths. And then we have this uh, uh, switch here, which basically toggles this concrete block up and down because uh, here on this side, of course, uh, this observer will trigger twice, once when the torch uh, turns off and once uh, it turns on and we only need one signal. And we can do that with uh, this kind of toggle. And in this state, we get actually the signal through when we detect uh, the shulker box is leaving the hopper. Of course, uh, at some point when we are done here, we have to make sure that uh, the droppers and the hoppers are filled with shulker boxes. Otherwise, that might not work as um, intended. 
So I think the next thing I want to do is is uh, add that uh, um, whole system here in the front. And what I thought would be nice is if we could have a water stream going this way, uh, maybe for in the uh, in the smelter and if not uh, dropping down. Um, let's see how that works out. Not too well, I can tell you. And uh, I will show you why I have set up here um, a small system with the two ideas that came to my mind, uh, how we could basically have a hole in our water stream uh, so items fall down. So problem with this setup here where we do have basically a fence gate that could be open or closed. Open would allow items to fall through. But if we put things in here, you see it caught on the, the fence gate there and depending on how far back we have this, eventually the item can go over it because here the water level is a bit higher, but there the item would just have stuck there. So, and basically this does not change if the, the gate is open um, and you can see if it is open, the item has too much momentum uh, gliding through. And basically we have same same problem here. If I remove that torch, that would then, uh, can I get up there? No, I can't. So let's take the long way around. So basically here we have the, the same problem, item glides right over. Uh, the thing that we could do is basically somewhere here um, uh, have an, uh, a sign on the side. Uh, so we would have a new water source block there and then basically under the sign have the hole uh, and that would probably work with the with the piston setup but then we basically have the piston which is not ice and the the hole itself so that should be pretty close to the to the auto water source so yeah it's not really that optimal but i managed to throw something together so let's have a quick uh, look at what we have here and you can trust me there is water in there even if you cannot see it there you have it for some weird reason uh, the glass texture does not render water in there and here we have the spitting out of uh, the uh, stone. Over on this side, we have the same thing for the uh, smooth stone. And basically the thing that goes over to the storage comes out here and then combines down there. And uh, if we need to put it into the smelter, it goes right through here. And of course, uh, we only need to put the stone in there. And this is basically the same setup as we have uh, over at the, at the bone mill farm. So next thing I have to figure out is how to hook things up. But that should not be a big problem. So maybe let's do the, the smooth stone first because the smooth stone um, 
basically we have the, the same mechanic here if we have not enough shulk boxes in here we want to smelt some more smooth stone which means we would request shulk box from here that should go up and that means the piston below here should be powered and the piston below there should not so let me throw that together and then we can actually have a look how this works this is not that complicated and basically also nothing new because we have already done something quite similar I mean the first part is identical to what we have over here save uh, the torch over there signal going down there um, yeah half the redstone and then we have basically this circuit breaker here with the with the sticky piston because we only are interested in every other signal and then this hole goes through here and sneaks on there that powers the piston there uh, underneath lifting that uh, ice block so when something shoots out it goes straight and up and then on the other side um, we take the signal again pull it in here and then on that block that's the block under the uh, the dispenser and then uh, again on the other side it's all a bit cramped here you can see we take the signal out power this block power this block here and then we have some more repeated delays uh, going up there uh, and powering the two pistons here on top to push ice down again so that's all good and the tricky part here was effectively because this block is is powered by this repeater had to move that line down there in order to avoid interfering with the signal so the last two pieces that are missing is okay we are we want to request things for the storage and i think we will do stone first yeah stone first uh, i think we can bring that up here because that should then go in here power this piston and not this one so we already have a, a line going in this direction which should be easy to hook things up there and then we will see about the smooth stone and how we can bring that uh, into it as i said this first part really simple had to replace the lamps with uh, node blocks because uh, lamps cannot be observed by observers and then we have basically just this uh, line going out here and down to where it is needed um, i'm not quite sure if we do need a circuit breaker here as well uh, because of course um, when the signal comes in there and gets decoded this torch will go on and off uh, bringing in a signal there but I'm not sure if uh, the uh, length of the repeater here 
or dare basically would swallow the, the second signal. We will figure that out, but let's uh, see what we can do with the line coming out here for a smooth stone. And I think uh, we can somehow squeeze that in here as well. This one is even easier because here we don't have to distinguish does the output shulker box go up into the smelter or to the storage. It directly goes to the storage. So we can have the line here coming around and around here and powering that dropper directly. The only tricky part is here where we need this block uh, there to block uh, the uh, two wires connecting there. Um, but that's it. And that's all the redstone for today. I think next time uh, maybe something a bit easier on the mind, less complicated, but nevertheless uh, not less needed. All right, hope you enjoyed this one and uh, I will see you soon in the next one. Goodbye.